Welcome to the resistance and welcome to the new world order. Resistance and new world order. Resistance and new world order. Welcome to the new world order. Everything is under control. Your thoughts and your actions, your lives and your futures are under control. Gorge yourselves on the opulence of the illuminated. Observe their splendor and stand in awe, O vassals. Marvel your masters, the titans of industry, for kings have taken the people and their kingdoms have taken the world. Welcome. Welcome to the New World Order. Welcome to the Resistance and welcome to the New World Order. The populace shall be connected, their prosperity measured, and surplus commonly divided. No man's quota shall yield more than another. Borders and boundaries are to be dissolved, governments disbanded, and currency thrown out. A single system shall rule the men of earth, a single court shall judge them all. One religion shall guide them, one man shall lead them, one army shall protect them, and digital eyes shall watch over them. Welcome to the resistance and welcome to the new world order. The media shall be controlled for the good of the people. Facts will be proprietary and news and opinion. Programming shall only reflect the values of the advertisers, reflecting the values of the system, reflecting the values of the illuminated. The daily cycle shall spin on a single axis, the axis being the system. Welcome to the resistance and welcome to the new world order. The resources of Earth are designated property of the system and its architects. The people being designated as human resources thereby forfeit any claim of possession or sovereignty, reserving only the right to purchase and consume, for the mark shall govern their lives. It is therefore declared the new world order in session. Consumption shall commence immediately, possession has already begun, and destruction shall be soon to follow. New world order. <laughs> Welcome to the resistance and welcome to the free world. Welcome to your new life and welcome to your own mind. Our times are great, our time is short, and our time has come. There is but one way, one truth, and one light, and without it we are lost, we are hopeless, and we are blind. Cast off your distraction, immerse yourself in question, research your convictions, inform yourself, and speak with him yourself. The answers you seek await your discovery, the path awaits your journey, do not despair the elusive truth, for the revelations are his plan. One cannot see outside his box until he has known his constraints. The more he understands, the more he sees, and the more he knows. Sharing the discovery is his purpose, so they may share theirs, and so others will begin their journey, so they might also find the truth. What we must understand is the New World Order. Very real and very close, we have heard it prophesied, world leaders discuss it daily, Corporations have built it up, the media is paid to praise it, and TV and movies slowly wash it into consciousness. An all-out assault on liberty, freedom, personal rights, and the individual. Battles rage around the United States Constitution and Bill of Rights. They constitute the biggest threat to the New World Order, for if she falls, the world will surely follow. Controlled, herded, and blinded by all means necessary, the people have lost themselves to kings and their kingdoms. And though we may not change what is written, may we bear truth to others so we may change what is written for them. We have but one shared fate among six billion destinies. Given our wisdom, are we not to spread the word? Are we not to bear witness until the last breath? My strength is my God, my gifts are his own. I'm nothing without Christ and have nothing without his love. Reside in me, O Spirit, and carry off my soul.